Hi, I'm Wendy Finkley with Arts for All Florida and welcome to Spotlight on Art. This is our chance to highlight the many amazing teaching artists that we work with throughout the state of Florida using the online format. Um, I want to let you know that you're able to uh, get closed captioning by clicking on the double C's, just the lower um, right hand corner of your screen. And with that, I'd like to introduce to you Angela Dickerson, one of our teaching artists from Hillsborough County, who's going to be teaching Ziploc monoprints. Enjoy. Hi. Good afternoon. This is Angela Dickerson. We're going to be doing monotypes with Ziploc bags. So if you go to the dollar store and get yourself a box of Ziplocs, a gallon size, paper, tempera paint, and some Q-tips, and maybe a few brushes. And it's a simple way to do multi-layered monotypes. So let's get started. So here I have my Ziploc bag. Um, I've already just decided to use one of these as a palette to put some washable paint on here as well. I have a um, container with some sponge brushes and some Q-tips. Um, you could also use some regular paint brushes if you like. Whichever of these you have will work fine. Um, if you do have a roller, that might be handy. If not, you can definitely do it without one. So first I'm going to load this up on one of the Ziplocs. I'm going to just do um, a solid color here first, and we're going to do different layers and different patterns. So I think I'll start with um, a purple layer here. Already has a really interesting design happening on its own. So if it's a little thin, you might want to pour some right on there and spread it out. Okay, and with um, a Q-tip, I can start making some designs. They could be anything. I'm just going to do some circles. I really like the pattern that is being created on its own with a thin paint, sort of a wood grain. So that's a nice start. Let's just see what we got. All we have to do is simply lay our paper over the top, give a quick little press. Ooh, and voila, that's really interesting. So I'm going to let this one dry for a bit, and I have a little extra paint on this one. You can kind of do this in different layers, and there's no um, wrong way to do this. We could come back to that one when it's drier and print something over the top. But I have just the perfect right amount of paint on this one where I can do another layer over the top of it. Okay, so there's an interesting print. So all I need to do is have a paper towel and wipe down this so Ziploc bag here. And I'm going to choose another color. In fact, I think I'll actually just paint on a design with my brush. So I'm going to use some yellow. And I'm going to do sort of a pattern here. Let me bring this closer. I'm going to create using these the edge of the foam brush to make sort of like a starburst pattern or a flower pattern. Now we'll lay this on top. Okay, 
And then we transferred that pattern onto the other. And now let's just keep going. Let's put this aside for a second, wipe it down. And now I want to do a, more, a bolder pattern. Take another brush. I want to use some black so it has a lot of contrast. And I'm going to do some, just some simple stripes. This is going to be very abstract. It doesn't have to have an objective. Um, the other thing that you could possibly do with younger kids is just to have some gloves. If they have a, you know, problems with maybe paint touching their hands, you could wear gloves. And they could actually draw the designs into the paint or paint with their fingers and then print their prints that way as well. So that's another option to um, adapt this for those who have aversion to paint on their hands or they just have trouble holding a brush. Okay, so now I'll get this on here. Lift it up. Very cool, very abstract print we have there. So again, I've got a little extra on here. I could wipe it off, but there's enough that I could make another print with this. So why not just use what's on the plastic bag and transfer it onto paper. So it's a very open-ended project that you can just keep adding to. So I'm gonna wipe off the remnants of this one. If you have some uh, baby wipes, that also can be helpful for this project to wipe down your hands or your surfaces, but we are using washable paint, so that's good. And you can even reuse your Ziploc bags. Okay, so let's try something a little bolder on top of this. Okay, so I got a little black mixed in there with my yellow. That's an interesting color. You just twirl the brush in one place, you get some really nice circles. There's a lot of fun play and experimentation that you can have with this kind of project. It can go on for as long as you want, for as much paper as you have. It's a really interesting abstract print. So it's possibilities are endless with this. Um, I'd like to demonstrate doing one with a glove, with the gloves on my hands. I think that would just be fun to experience for myself as well. So I would first, you know, load up this with paint first, perhaps, or let your child do this themselves, and then let them get in there and draw their designs. They want to draw something specific, they can do that as well. And maybe they want to add a little extra pattern to that as well. Okay. And again, we're going to 
layer paper and figure we do it in this direction. If you wanted to use the roller for this, you could roll it as well. It's another option, but hands work just fine. You don't have to put a lot of pressure. So we have our interesting tree design. So I hope this was something that um, inspires you and that you'll want to give it a try. It's really a cheap and simple project to do. Um, and thank you for joining me. This was Arts for All, Angela Dickerson. Have a great day. Thanks.